We always have. We now have a requirement in a category that we call human diversities and ethnicities mm -hmm. or something like that, but you get the point. And so we always have. And a lot of the coursework that's at VCU now in that long list of choices that you have are, you know, are very, very much reflective of dealing with factual realities of history, um, including difficult history that um, the former um, capital of the Confederacy um, has, um, you know, has had. Um, I have great faith in my faculty colleagues that what they are doing is teaching real history, you know, not history that's been prescribed um, or revised in any way, I think as best they can. I mean, none of us were around, right, when a lot of these things happened. But <clears throat> his, his, history and humanities experts have the ability to really kind of try to get as much to the truth as they can and qualify that, you know, when they, when they aren't completely sure. They can say, this is the evidence I've seen, this is the evidence I have, I've been reading about this throughout my career, this is what I think probably happened, right? Um, or this is what I know happened because the account is pretty clear. And so I think we're really good at that at VCU. And I think every student is getting significant exposure to that. Part of where students really get a lot of exposure to ethnicities is the fact that we are very proudly one of the most diverse institutions in the country. Very few major research universities can say that we have 17% of our student population that's African American. Very few, but we have really worked hard at making that a reality and we've attracted top talent. Top, very high, very, very uh, talented students in those areas. So in any case, um, I think, you know, and if we add to that, that'd be great. And Dr. Rao, maybe put a 